Violence erupts at Hong Kong International Airport. Check encounters closed, flights canceled, the epicenter of political unrest as police clash with protesters. We almost have a stampede because we were such, in a, such a panic. We were in such a blind fear of the police. Demonstrators say what started as a peaceful sit-in quickly turned to chaos when riot police suddenly stormed the airport terminal armed with batons and pepper spray. One police officer even pulled out a gun when protesters went at him. We were trying to stop the police from entering. I didn't really question what I was doing. I just want to tell, t let them know that what they're doing is wrong. At one point, protesters detained a man they claimed was an undercover police officer. He was tied to a luggage cart as throngs of people crowded around. This was the second straight day demonstrators brought the airport to a standstill, taking their frustration and demands to the international stage. The protest started as a push against a controversial extradition bill that could see those accused of crimes sent to China. Ever since, Hong Kong's leader has been dogged by questions of just how much Beijing controls her. Do you have the autonomy or not to withdraw the extradition she bill? She has answered your question. You, you have not answered the question. You've Sorry. evaded the question. Beijing warns these demonstrations are bordering on terrorism. Chinese state media has shown convoys of paramilitary police converging in the border city of Shenzhen. The unrest isn't just at the airport. Those who live in Hong Kong say it's divided the whole city. Now everyone's taking a side. Everyone is uh, talking about this story. If you go to work in the morning, you don't know if your subway is going to even be full of protesters or not. And uh, you don't know what's going to happen. Ten weeks in with both sides digging in, the fear is this political crisis will only get more violent. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver. It's not just students out there on the streets, but business people, lawyers, even religious groups. Hong Kong right now is a city of discontent. So what is fueling the anger? What began as a response to a proposed law allowing extraditions to China has morphed into an expression of deeper anxieties in the city. Frustrations have been growing in the two decades since the United Kingdom handed the city over to China. And since Xi Jinping became president in 2012, China has become more overtly authoritarian. Many see that as Beijing encroaching on the city's autonomy. Adding to that frustration, the influx of migrants moving in from mainland China. Many fear they are taking resources away from Hong Kong residents. Fears even that city's predominant language, Cantonese, is under threat. And then there's the economic anxiety. The wealth gap keeps widening. Hong Kong is the world's least affordable housing market. More than half the residents don't own a home. And young people are increasingly skeptical anything will change. Even the 2014 umbrella movement that sought to democratically elect their city's leader failed. And the clock is ticking. China is only legally committed to maintain Hong Kong's quasi-democracy until 2047. So it's not the end game yet. And it's the infinity war or even infinity battle until 2047. So many Hong Kongers are determined to fight before time runs out.